The British have a reputation for being poor learners of languages, so we thought we'd start this video with a quick German lesson. Here are three useful words for you to know. Gülle selbstfahrer, self-propelled slurry tanker. Leistung, output. Beeindruckend, impressive or awesome. Put these together. Ein Gülle selbstfahrer mit beeindruckend Leistung. A self-propelled slurry tanker with awesome output. Okay, lesson over. Let's go and see the machine. The Taurus is Cot's top of the range slurry spreader. Cotta debuted the Taurus at Agrotechnica in 2015. The company has produced two machines which customers are ev evaluating. One of these is Schaffmeister Agrar, one of the largest slurry handling contractors in Germany. Tractor spotting caught up with the beast near Osnabrück in northern Germany. Prior to building the Taurus, Cotter experimented with an eight wheel machine called the Buffel or Buffalo, but it was deemed too expensive and complex. They even investigated the idea of refilling tankers while on the move similar to in-flight refueling used by some military planes. In the end, however, the Buffalo dropped an axle and the six-wheeled Taurus was born. Cotter thought carefully about the trade-off between weight, power and volume of digesting. The tank holds 20 cubic metres, more than a Holmer Terra variant at 21 cubic metres but not as much as a Vredo VT7028, which holds 32 cubic meters. This figure of 28 cubic meters, however, matches the 29 ton payload weight of German trucks. So one truckload equals one tank full. It also means that the machine has sufficient power to pull a 12 meter Horsch Joker at up to 14 kilometers an hour with discs at around 10 centimetres deep. Cotter's expertise lies in the application technology rather than engines, so it turned to Titan Spezial Fahrzeug to provide the chassis and the drive. Titan is a partner to Mercedes-Benz and specialises in heavy duty trucks such as oil field and fire engines. The mechanical transmission was favoured over hydrostatic give the necessary oomph up hills. Transmission is through an Allison automatic gearbox with 12 forward and two reverse gears. Hydraulics run at 240 litres a minute at up to 300 bar pressure. The Berger EL2250 pump pumps at 12,000 litres per minute, giving a filling time of just two and a half minutes. The shape of the Taurus's tank is slim and long. Well, everything is relative. But this shape allows 30 metre applicator booms to be refolded and remain within legal road widths. Road speed is 40 kilometres an hour, so don't try to outrun this bull. Output has averaged around 120 cubic meters an hour with a high spot rate of 180 cubic meters an hour. Fuel consumption has been around 30 liters an hour with the disc arrow and 24 liters an hour with the boom. Operator Martin Didam notes that the high output is due to the fast cycle time and is considerably more than the normal Fent 939 plus triaxle tanker. The Roper source cab is very comfortable and the boom section control is, in his words, more akin to a self-propelled sprayer. One improvement he would like to see is a faster reversing speed. It might be rather a generalisation, but German logistics are probably that little bit more efficient than those in the UK. Many of the big contractors own their own fleet of tankers, which gives them greater control over the delivery of digestate. 
Throughout our morning with the Taurus, it was not kept waiting more than a couple of minutes. All of the logistics are controlled by iPads which drivers have in their cabs. Full-scale production of the machine is likely to start in 2018. There are no firm plans to bring it over to the UK just yet, but Importer Continental Soil Technology will be at the 2017 Grassland event with a range of cotter equipment. The Taurus would not be the first bit of German kit that, having been spied on a YouTube video, finds its way over to the UK. Price in the region of 600,000 euros. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Sign up to tractorspotting.com to upload your reviews of machines and see what other people are saying.